Hey guys, this is a small walkthrough on how to use the Code Injector plugin. As you can see, I already have the Code Injector plugin installed onto my browser. Uh, if you tap onto the icon, you should see options such as Enable Injector and three different type of screenshot options. Okay, so first of all, let's enable the injector, which will enable you to dynamically inject code onto the page. Once, once the uh, injector is enabled, you can, as you can see, when you hover on the elements on the page, it would show you the dimensions and some information about the type of element. So I'll come down directly and let me, I'll, I'll just try to inject an add next to this container. I'll select this container. Once you click, you should have a form which would expect you to put the dimensions of your HTML. So I'll specify 300 into 250. I already have my image code, the HTML tag copied, so I'm just going to paste it. I have an image with a link and I've simply given a style with a margin left of 20 pixels, just so that we have spacing towards the left. And I'll click on go and voila, we have the image injected. Okay. So I'll run you to how to take a page break screenshot now. We can go and disable the injector and select page break. In page break, you have to select a top area and a bottom area. So let's select a top area first. Let this be a top area. And let's scroll all towards the bottom where our image was and let's say bottom. Let's, you could resize the area. Okay. And click on take screenshot. There you have, I'll just, our image is saved. Here you go. Page fake screenshot along with the dynamic HTML that we injected.